Hi, this is John Kanalopoulos from our uh, office here in Athens, Greece. Want to share, we've talked about the Athens Protocol extensively. I want to share um, some things that we should not do. This is a young lady who had seven doctors of myopia and uh, she underwent the Athens Protocol in Cyprus. Uh, apparently the surgeon there corrected uh, probably most of the myopia and performed cross-linking as well. As a result, her corneas now have an average uh, keratometry, anterior keratometry of uh, uh, 31. So an extremely flat cornea. We can see here the intervention that was done with laser. Remember, this was probably a mild keratoconic eye and this is revealed in the posterior cornea surface. Um, and you can see the significant laser intervention. Uh, the problem is that uh, she is humongly overcorrected. And you can also see the uh, left, the right eye that reaches um, curvatures of 23 at the area that the cone was. So uh, several colleagues have taken our message uh, that laser can benefit patients who have keratoconus in normalizing their cone, but they've taken it, maybe if I may, towards the wrong direction, combining full refractive PRK and cross-linking. And this is ignoring the synergistic effect that PRK has along with cross-linking and can cause immense flattening. We've seen and reported 15, 20 doctors flattening with time so in my opinion, and I, this is why I'm showing you this case, we can see the uh, fine cross-linking lines here, but we see a cornea that's down to 300 microns, um, regular epithelium. Uh, this is the right eye of that uh, uh, young lady, and this is the left eye. Again, 300 microns. This eye has turned about a plus six hyperopic. She had a little mishap with her uh, soft contact lens. Again, We've uh, uh, discussed that if the patient turns hyperopic, uh, you can always do a, a PRK because it, it uh, ablates peripherally. And you can see here the scarring for the infection that she had. She was told not to use corticosteroids because she may have uh, cataract development. Again, um, our opinion is that we want to um, use corticosteroids. It's better to have uh, cataract surgery than uh, have a cornea transplant. The other cornea is relatively clear, but uh, as we talked about before, we corrected. And speaking of cataracts, uh, looking carefully at the lens of the right eye, we can see that this young lady has some congenital artifacts in the lens and will probably develop cataract early. Not in the left eye, that uh, is problematic currently, but in the right eye first, the left eye lens looks quite clear. So the take home message here is yes, the Athens protocol combining uh, topography guided uh, Partial in refraction, I want to underline that. We treat two doctors, one and a half doctors of myopia, one, two doctors of astigmatism at the topographic axis, along with cross-linking will give us the optimal results. Not necessarily uh, performing a full refractive effect uh, on the um, uh, myopic correction and cross-linking. And uh, the, uh, to complete this discussion, this is a, a young medical student uh, that we saw today. He's six days out of Athens protocol in both eyes. We'll see how the epithelium has healed, but uh, under the contact lenses, the healing is not very regular. So we're gonna wait for, since contact lenses are off, the, the uh, eyelid motion to um, refine the, um, the surface. Uh, and here is this young gentleman last week prior to this Athens protocol, very significant cone, 60.6 diopters clocked on the pentacam. This is him today. And we only treated uh, uh, two and a half diopters of astigmatism and two diopters of myopia. That's it on this patient. And look at the tremendous flattening that we have already on week one, 13 diopters of flattening here on the right eye and uh, in this young gentleman, and we'll look at the, the remarkable change in the left eye as well. Left eye was milder, steeper K52, uh, stage two to three on the uh, Amsler Krumike uh, criteria, uh, with four being the worst, IHD 137, ISV 95, him today, a week later. This is extremely pleasant. We're beginning our week with tremendous number. The IHD has dropped to uh, 11 from 137. Uh, the Bell and Ambrosio reads no 
um, keratoconus, and we can qualitatively appreciate the remarkable difference, uh, flattening of uh, almost 10 diopters on the left eye. And again, the treatment here was minimal. Uh, one or two diopters of myopia, one or two diopters of astigmatism, topography guided, and um, coupled with higher fluence uh, CXL. So lesson here, uh, yes, the Athens protocol is the optimal way to treat. Uh, again, the left eye before and after difference showing the specificity of the X500 eczema laser and how remarkable these results are. We have to be very cautious not to use it as a PRK procedure of the full refractive error and cross-linking because synergy here uh, tells us that we would get two to three diopters correction with PRK, about two diopters max with the cross-linking. That will never account to the 12 diopters we're seeing here. So there's synergy going on between CXL and PRK. And I just want to share this information with you today. This is uh, John Canalopoulos, strong believer of the Athens Protocol and so pleased that it's become the number one procedure for toconus globally. Thanks so much, signing out.